I was born in, uh, in 1937 in a place called Dharmala. The no name is Kanaka Hisokta, and <clears throat> it is located between 6th and 7th Bridge. Probably you, should, you don't know, Srinagar used is a city like London <clears throat> on two banks of the river Jhalum, and, uh, and it had seven bridges uh, which were historically made over period of time. So we used to live there. We had a wonderful childhood in a joint family and a lovely neighborhood, which was a mixture of both Hindus and Muslims, Shias and Sunnis, and uh, we grew up in a lovely atmosphere. Uh, we, I grew up with Kashmiri shawls. On the lighter note, I can tell you, when I was a little boy, goods used to come from workmen, and before they were being finally washed and kept ready, I used to change one shatush every day. <laughs> that was fun. My eldest brother, he wanted very much me to join the business. But somehow, I didn't take liking for doing business. I wanted to be do medicine. So then my father said, fine, if you want to do medicine, do it. So that, that's how I eventually worked, did my MBBS from Calcutta and came back, served in Kashmir. I still remember <clears throat> Once, I was there, one day, two o'clock in the night, someone is desperately banging our quarters, the doctor's quarters, who was, which was with the health center, in a beautiful place, in, as a, in an island, on an island in, on River Vishu. So I opened the door, and this man was in tears with his wife, with a little baby girl, probably <clears throat> two, two and a half year old, desperately ill, and they are crying. And they said, do something. We have been trekking from Rajori district for the last 48 hours over the mountains. She's dying. So I called my laboratory technician. I did a lumbar puncture on her. and She had a rip-roaring meningitis. Poor girl. They were so poor. The touching thing was the, we, we started treatment. She recovered. And I told these people, bring her back after one month, so that I can see there is no damage to her brain than with the meningitis. And the most touching thing is these poor people came with a bori on the shoulders, you know, gunny bag. I said, what is this? He said, Dr. Saab, we are so grateful. With great difficulty, we had this daughter. She was dying, you saved her life, but we have nothing. So what we decided, we thought, what, what shall we take for the Dr. Saab? So there are some old aluminium pots in the kitchen. They packed up in the gunny bag and got me. So that was that is touching medicine. That is what is rewarding. Uh, that was very touching. We moved here in 1968 and uh, did the usual struggle like any other young doctor. My wife joined me after after about nine ten months, and my first job in the National Health Service was in Dewsbury in Yorkshire. 